What's up, mini truckers? Ben here, that US mini trucks. We got a little Honda Acti here. We're gonna look at. Somebody's buying it from out of state. So he was asking to do a walk around. Let's see what we can come up with. As far as defects, looks like a little bit of paint bubble there. Looks pretty good overall. I don't see any defects in the windshield. Looks like somebody touched it up here. A couple spots. Quite a few spots, I guess, but on the front end, I guess that's to be expected. Hard to see if you're not really up on it from here. It's hard to see. Okay, you got a new battery cover it looks like that overflow reservoir is getting on its last days the battery the tires there's the underside of the engine pretty good you can see it dude look at this grasshopper this roach or something that's like a Japanese style Whew. So you got the headache rack, a little bit of surface rust here. Let's see what else we can find. Something going on there. Looks like kind of dirty. Maybe clean up though, because that's bird poop. So this is dust, I can see right here. Okay, the other bedside. The fuel tank is here. Got a little couple specks, a little yellowing rust. I'm gonna start it up and pull it out of here. Let me undo my little club here. Okay, it's got a reupholstered driver's seat. And this one is a six digit odometer, it's showing 62,000 miles. And we got a little radio, the vent fan, the blower, the shift selector. One of the cool things with this is this is a timing belt record. So it had the timing belt at 58,000 kilometers, which is at 62 now, it's not very many. And then the date there is the 29th year, and that is only three or four years ago. Looks like this is an oil change, but we do the oil change here in-house. So I'm gonna set that here. Oh, I need the key. The bed's pretty clean though, I mean, for seeing some of them, uh, they have like a lot of rust and you know sometimes off concrete or whatever the guy was working with in all the hondas you've got a little thing here storage area this one comes with the jack and the spare tire tool and then this is your overflow reservoir for the windshield wiper juice okay. i haven't started this one in a while so let's see what happens A little bit slow to start. So we got a parking brake, the parking brake's off, we're in gear. Hmm, I'm getting rubbing on those front tires. That's not gonna work, I guess. I've ridden these before and when they turn at the stops, they end up uh, hitting this piece right here. So like this piece just hits this, just not big enough. So you got a couple different tires, I'll, uh, and the idle will come down once it warms up. But we could do these all four around. These are the Carlisle Mud and their uh, deep lug. The thing they're not, they're pretty thin. So what I've been doing is using these on the fronts. 
and then putting some different ones on the back the wider ones I also have some of these these are 13 inch mud and snows but you'd have to get a second set for uh, off-road because they don't really make 13 inch off-road tires that fit these trucks okay let me fold these down just to see what we're dealing with So, pretty useful. Get that little freeloading fluid out of there. Ugh. And then we'll just take her for a spin. Let me test out the blower. Works on all the levels. And then you've got a fresh air vent right here by your leg. Sometimes it's cool just to open them a little. Alright, we'll try these tires. Ooh, they're rubbing something. It's too much rub already. What's it rubbing? Well, we didn't get very far on the test drive. Yeah, you can see it's rubbing there the coil spring. Something's making a little rattling. <laughs> Sounds like a heat shield or something. Sometimes you get them. Well, shoot. I'm not going to drive it like this, so let me just back it up. And. Uh, put some different wheels on there. We'll start. O we'll not start over, but well, that's a bummer. I'm just bummed out because I don't really have any good place for those tires. I already took them off of a Subaru, and they're rubbing on the Subaru. <sighs> well, hmm. Shoot! 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 All right, I'll be back. All right, we're back. It's just a little before nine in the morning. It's already hot as crap. So we got the tires swapped, the wheels. So we're headed back out for attempt number two. I haven't ever shut the engine down. So nice and warmed up. And you can see it's a lot quieter. because of these front tires this is second gear I'm just waiting on traffic here I need to get a towel or something, I'm gonna start dripping on all the... all the stuff.
So there she is. Let me put all the lights on, see what happens. Everything working there. It's hard to see, but they're working there. Cool. Let's test this back one. Yep, so that's working. I'm gonna shut everything down. And then we'll just do a restart. You can see we do have lights. So if we had some problems, maybe that would help us. And it starts right up. Go back in the there's something a little bit of rattle. It sounds like one of the heat shields. I've had this before. Let's see if I can I don't really hear it there. real good okay. oh you know what it might be it might be the spare tire carrier or one of the sidewalls that's rattling in reverse it doesn't sound like a heat shield She's still there in the glove box. We got a little thing. What we did to it, we put a new air filter. It's got new tires. It's got 10W30 oil. We charged the battery. We cleaned the reservoir tank. Put the new filter. We didn't to replace the spark plugs or the differential or the transmission. We inspected the, this one. This one's got brand new brakes, so I'm not sure why it says 80, but we ended up putting new pads on. Uh, and then this has a timing belt. So there we are. All right, here's those other tires. These are what I would use in the back. And a little bit wider. The lug's probably not as deep, but that's the other option for the back. Or you can fit these four on the Subaru. And then I realized with those brake pads, they are 80% left. I, when I just swapped the tires this morning, I, they use the same, somebody in Japan used the same brake pads that we use here. So when I saw them, I was like, oh shoot, these are brand new. And then I looked again at our records and we didn't change the brake pads. So they came with those brake pads from Japan. So that's still 80%. Hopefully this helps and stay mini. Have a good